Good evening, everybody. This is your host Raj, and I hope each and everybody out there is doing well. Today we have a very special guest. His name is Dr. Dharamdev Singh. He is a spiritual analyst. He is a researcher, and he is a paranormal expert. So today's show is going to be exciting. Let's bring on the doctor. Thank you so Hi. much, Prathviraj, for having me. Oh, thank you so much. It's it's my honor. I mean, how are you doing? Yes, I'm very good. And I, first of all, I am so excited about this podcast. I was waiting for this moment since many months we were planning, right? And this moment came. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was actually waiting for you to come by, and you know, maybe we could come by and discuss about issues and yes. topics, as you hold so much knowledge and you possess so much information. So it's my honor for you to come by. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with uh, today's topic is regarding possessions. Today's topic is regarding the spiritual realm of the unseen world. Nice. So, um, yeah. And today we are actually try we will definitely try to talk to Dr. Singh and we'll try to, you know, get as much information as possible about the paranormal experiences, the entities as well as the ghosts, the spirits which are throughout the world. So doctor here you go here's your platform how you've been doing Yes so uh, first we'll talk about exorcism right Yeah yeah so uh, first of all if i coin about this word exorcism it has been from old uh, centuries right and right. in our vedic culture uh, it is in the different name uh, like okay. uh, in we say in hindi uh, if someone is possessed by devil and the process to remove that devil it's known as exorcism right true yeah so uh, in our hindi uh, with the help of tantras and mantras uh, uh, our ancient acharyas used to uh, remove this evil spirit from the body and exorcism is actually a word which was used by christians right and, right uh, now also it is used by them yeah in today's culture yeah yeah So uh if we go in more detail of exorcism uh first of all it is done by a uh, perfect sense right you have to attain some siddhis to do that right as uh, you are not eligible to do that true sure. yeah so uh exorcism is done uh, by this dem- who who people who are having demonic possessions so yeah a devil can be in many form uh, like in our ancient scriptures there is uh, pisachini there is yakshini there is yaks so there are n numbers of uh, this uh, entity which are unknown to us but they somehow get inside the body of human being and uh, they try to possess them to fulfill their own desires right so if uh, some person uh, uh, person is dead and his desire is unfulfilled so that's why to fulfill their desire they enter into the body of human being and they try to fulfill their desire no oh, is that so yeah oh so, my god yeah so uh, i had many experience i uh, in my childhood i have seen many uh, exorcism being done in front of my eyes uh, so uh, if i tell you about one incident yeah please sure yeah, yeah. uh it's about my village right so right. Uh, i was uh, in 6th or 7th grade and uh, since childhood i was this obsessive child who wants to know everything right and uh, right. so i won't tell the name of the village because of privacy matter uh, but uh, all the audience can know uh, about uh, if they want to know then they can privately text you or me uh, to know about it Okay so now I'll begin the story uh, how it happened my experience mainly yes so, uh, in our village uh, we had one well okay it was a right. step well uh, it is believed that that step well was built in one night in only one night and that is a very huge step well uh, oh okay. okay yeah 
so okay we may believe or not believe it was not, it uh, was not happened in our time so uh, the main story is that nobody should enter that well at the night time okay no. so what happened uh, as kids uh, all the kids were playing there uh, but ball fell down in that well so one of the kid it uh, went downstairs and try to got get that uh, ball from the step well so now mm. uh, as uh, uh, this city kids we did not know about uh, this village culture and all that we should not go in the night time right so no. we were unknown uh, so some village uh, village guy called some uh, bigger uncle so directly uncle came and he went downstairs to uh, take out that child so now what happened that uh, first when uh, that uncle went to bring the child that uncle's feet that fell into that step well mm-hmm. so uh, they came outside and suddenly uncle started to behaving something horrifying like he stood there like uh, his statue he was just standing there and uh, as a kid so i was, was almost like priest yeah so we all were scared right so we just called right. other people and uh, then some tantrics came they were like oh, because village people have such ideology that yeah, yeah. may be related yeah, to yeah. this demonic entity we may not believe it in the first place but they directly believe that yeah we should call priest priest and all so, yeah in uh, our uh, our culture uh, we do not call priest we uh, call this tantrics right uh, yeah yeah in the western eastern culture, culture yeah. The, yeah in the eastern societies we call these priests are called as tantrics yeah so the tantric was called and uh, okay so i uh, i was child right uh, so first uh, i i could not believe it and now what happened that uh, priest started uh, every vidhis and all so uh, that man i remember his voice before and after this tantric started to do some rituals his voice changed like his voice changed completely like uh, he was in his uh, 25 to 30s okay but his voice changed to 60 uh, like old man and he was talking and then he asked for a cigar then he asked for many things that i want to eat this and all so uh, this was the first experience of mine about exorcism after that i had uh, many exorcism uh experience but uh, this right. was the first one uh, which uh, like i still remember the horrifying experience and uh, yeah. i still whenever i go to my village i have this uh this chills <laughs> right Because right experience they relate right. to right. mine absolutely absolutely true that it is ac- actually a very big experience that you have been uh, going through your village and you have collected all the information and data that you have personally perceived these information and it's uh you know it's uh, fantastic to hear about them i mean doctor what is your take on basic exorcism in 21st century i mean many people believe that these yes. things they don't exist i mean many people think that these things are just fairy tales and stories and you know ghosts and demons these in indiv- these entities actually they don't exist so what do, what what is your take on it i mean what are the beliefs and practices in this 21st century what do you think about it okay so first of all uh, we should understand what are these creatures right right yeah so uh, if we do not go in deep and understand briefly for like for layman's language if i say this entity or someone whose wish did not get fulfilled okay that is the simplest part and there can be many there are many yonis in our uh, vedic scripture there it has been told that there are Uh, many yonis and yeah. in yeah. like preet yoni bhut yoni pishaj yoni so there are sure. integration in the cultural uh, civilization society yeah. so right uh, what uh, how can we see about exorcism in 21st century right so sure. in ayurveda uh, there is a particular disease known as unmad and apasmar so unha unmad in modern it is known as psychosis okay psychosis oh, right. where a, a person goes retarded and apasmar means uh, memory loss 
okay so yeah. what happens that uh, in unmad there are again particular types they have written in vedic scripture that bhut unmad peshach unmad yaksha unmad so the acharyas already divided uh, unmad as a disease right right so, and also they had given cure for it okay, okay. and uh, as a doctor and in 21st century firstly we could not believe it right that uh, right. there there is a treatment for such things uh, but uh, in ayurveda there is treatment given uh, for this kind of encounters when it occurs there are treatment given and uh, so that treatment i'll tell you what is it called the treatment is called deva upashraya chikitsa uh, means dev means uh, god so okay. hev- heavenly chikitsa heavenly treatment it is known as so that treatment is done with the help of om havan bali uh, then this uh, kind of stones we use so many types uh, of uh, healing techniques are used in that hmm so uh, this is totally worth it matlab it's uh, real i have experienced it i have seen people getting cured by this kind of thing so even though it is 21st century uh, right. some basic universal laws are the same right it is just matter of the time in past it was happening that means now also it is happening that does not matter uh, yeah but there is also one click uh, that uh, due to this radiation and all i believe those entity they cannot survive longer in the city areas that's why they are going back towards the village areas or uh, jungles forest etc no oh, is that so yeah because they are also energy right right and uh, our electronic gadgets uh, right. they they also emit certain kind of radiation so True. they they are made up of structural energy and our uh, in our mobile phone or fridge ac there are certain radiation is released so yeah. due to that radiation their structural uh, uh, structure will be damaged and so they cannot survive more around uh, electricity and that may be also the reason that they may be active more at the night time and i have also heard from uh, many priests that they are now more active in uh, village area and in jungle rather than being in the city area oh that that's absolutely exciting doctor it was a very exciting uh, i mean this is a very exciting you know testimony i would like to understand about the you know the physiological aspect of this materialistic scientific mainstream thinking they say that you know each and everything has to be calculated and measured and each and everything has to be materialized i mean there are so many things like you know in today's age many people come out with the uh, you know there are stuff like you know ghost hunting uh, meters or maybe microwave frequencies they look for emissions they look for uh, you know there are so many things it's almost like an alternative medium but uh, there are still you know people who have hard time you know um, they, try, they actually they get a very hard time figuring it out they think that this actually does not exist it belongs to psychosis i mean they think that the patient itself is actually completely in a state of a mental delusion so doctor speak about uh, what are these psychiatric treatment for people who you know uh, most of the people in today's world what happens is uh, if they experience any spiritual uh, enlightenment or if they see things you know the doctors they directly you know uh, just give it a name as schizophrenia or maybe some kind of a mental illness disorder so please tell me about and speak about uh, the psychiatry and uh, the you know spiritual aspect uh, regarding these these things hmm. so all the psychiatric disorder if they i it's my theory if all yeah. if all the psychiatric uh, disorder they occur at uh, the level of your birth then it is uh, there is will be some anatomical defect right uh, if it is from birth then we can call it as a psychiatric disorder but if it occurred after like uh, child is able to understand everything uh, right. like after uh, 20s after 30s then it may After not I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so then i cannot call it as psychiatric disorder they may be also uh, co- you can correlate with spiritual phenomena right 
if right. some person uh, is, let's take an example schizophrenia so what are the symptoms of schizophrenia person will start to feel alone person would not like to meet anyone they they would just uh, isolate themselves now what is the sign of spirituality same to same schizophrenia and spirituality the person who is who is a deep thinker who is into spirituality they will be like to stay alone they will be like to stay isolated because there all the chakras are being activated that's why they wanted to be alone and the modern doctors they correlate it with schizophrenia right Yeah, so, some kind of a mental delusion. Hmm. So that is actually evolution of human being. When the psychiatric disorder are the evolution, and when when we take this certain medication, anti-psychiatric medication, it will stop their uh, brains uh, response towards the. Yeah, they will manipulate the brain cells yeah. and you know the yeah. way they perceive things in it general will, differently. Yeah, it will worsen more. Right. Yeah, it can be worsened. I mean, the conditions of the patients actually they become worse because what happens is uh, the doctors they only focus on one particular you know the physiological uh, concept of the brain, and you know in our Eastern culture and society, people from ancient times they always had a spiritual concept about the other world, about you know the existence of angels and demons, and you know they also possess so much knowledge. about uh, the you know life which happens after death you know they believe that there is a life which you know uh, continues even after your death i mean ancient people were absolutely very aware about this you know hidden mystic knowledge but uh, most of the people you know in today's world uh, the doctors itself you know they actually completely dismiss yeah yeah uh, the spiritual concepts and they only focus on one thing which is the physiological brain and like you said you know doctor that the individual who you know intakes all these medications you know who consumes uh you know you have a a very bad effect you know through those medications i mean your life span gets shortened i mean i have seen people you know using antipsychotic drugs uh for many people it might have helped but you know in the long run process it definitely gives some kind of a side effects yeah. and you know the person itself actually you know it, it's it, it's good for the person for a while but you know again these things start happening and they again run to doctors and again the doctor prescribes them you know more and more medication so their whole life is you know uh, completely ruined by some you know hard stuff like you know antipsychotic drugs so you know uh, it's uh, absolutely very difficult to understand and uh, you know to perceive such uh, you know things like doctors say they completely dismiss the notion that uh, there is something like a spirit so doctor what do you think about uh, the concept of uh, you know astral body travel most of the people they feel and they think that they might have come out of their body and at some particular time of event especially at night or maybe while sleeping they have come out of their body and they have experienced some phenomena which is completely different from the three dimensional universe of ours what's your take on astral projection yeah so to understand astral projection we should learn about how many bodies we have right so one body is our physical body another is astral body and the third one it's casual body uh if i translate that into our vedic culture according to our vedic culture then it is sukshma sharir uh, the what we physical body we have is parthiv sharir and the casual body which i said that is karan sharir right right uh the astral travel which you talked about that we yeah. do with the help of sukshma sharir and it is also known as molecular body now uh whenever our body is at rest that is uh, when we are sleeping our we go to astral world right so this concept many people have do not know that when you are dreaming when you are sleeping you are actually in the molecular world and molecular world is the world where the spirit which are dead the people who are dead including 
the god the ancient knowledge lies inside the astral world that is the reason why every people they want to travel astral there they are like we want to travel astral so this is the molecular body uh, where with the help of that molecular body we experience this astral world and this right. uh, casual body it's an another concept we will discuss about that that is uh, another topic no definitely we will yeah, definitely discuss we will uh, focus on astral travel absolutely so, uh yeah how to first how to experience it uh, yeah there are many theories regarding it uh one theory is this theory was introduced by knights of templar if you may have heard about it knights of templar yeah uh, they belong to the free they belong to the freemason society freemasons yeah uh, this illuminati and freemason society they had the very ancient knowledge okay so right. for the years and years still the freemason society and lithavian society illuminati they are activate right they right. try to hid one ancient knowledge which came from the egypt uh, which came from indus valley civilization from china and from all the ancient civilization they hid it that that is how to control your prana prana means our breathing technique right mm. so uh, they hid this they literally hid this for many years if you can if you we are able to control our prana our breathing techniques we may be able to possess god like power wow so, yeah and that is the reason people study astral travel because all the knowledge all the record is stored in the astral world so the secret uh, which they hid the knights of templar the freemason society illuminati what they hid it's in the breathing technique uh, they told in a simple way that if you decrease your breathing in a certain particular way then our brain will be less activated our thought will be de- uh, like our thought rate is very much right the right. thoughts will decrease and as the thoughts will decrease we will be able to focus on only one thing that is our breathing pattern and by that we may be able to reach astral world and once you able to reach astral world consciously like every day we visit astral world right we are in our dreams we every day visit but we are not aware of it but once we are aware of aware of it and that can be only done by some breathing technique that i will discuss in further videos about the breathing techniques that is another part but yeah. with the help of breathing technique one may travel astral in the astral world and right. we can meet uh, our deity we can find uh, the secret of the universe so if you remember about uh, nikola tesla i yeah. then Uh, about uh, remember once we were talking about this uh, person who discovered this benzene a periodic yeah, table yeah yeah they, yeah all this common thing in all these people is they saw it in the dream now what did i tell what is the dream dream is where we travel astrally so they hmm. found the secret from the astral world and not only him uh darwin se used to say picasso used to say and so many ancient scientists and currently also there are so many people who are successful businessmen who are successful scientists they first got their knowledge from the dream ramanujan you can take example he, go, he used to get a mathematical formula from the thinking uh, from the, from his dream he, yeah, more, yeah yeah he used to refer it as uh, the akashic records yeah. absolutely yeah so everything he got from his dream the dream obviously we compare to the astral world so that is why astral realm visiting astral realm can be the visit a uh, best way to enlighten us and some, some person if they are able to like it is very rare right uh, not a normal person can do right yeah absolutely so doctor you know uh most of the people today you know uh they are in their living conditions and they totally specifically you know 
focus more mostly on uh, uh, the you know the physiological aspect as i said before mm. but you know most of the people are turning towards inside that means towards spirituality i mean even in the west you know people they understand and know finally the value of spirituality i mean there are a lot of people over there who thinks you know possessing enough amount of money is going to make them happy but you know guess what you know even after their 40s they you know they break down and they don't know what else to do so most of the people they turn down to spirituality even though you know they had huge amount of uh, you know resources and income and everything but uh, this is what the eastern uh, culture and tradition has contributed towards the world so you know it's it's absolutely you know uh fantastic you know listening from you about talking about the astral world and the all the aspects of uh, you know the things that are today uh, which are so important to modern day people i mean it's almost like a lost technology lost civilization and we have you know we have information but in bits and pieces because so many things have been lost and we are trying to you know gather information as much as you know we can and we are building it and uh, you know we try to create something out of it and you know because uh, we had you know vimanas like for instance uh, when you talk about ufo in today's ufo communities people say you know we have seen flying this uh, you know flying all over the uh, all over the vicinity or maybe in the sky you know high above and ancients actually they spoke about vimanas Yeah. Uh, and it was an ancient indian technology uh, which is absolutely you know referred it they have referred it in texts yeah. they have absolute references how the vimanas are built how they are functioned i mean how many people sit in it and how that kind of a technology operates yeah. so that what do you think about these ufo sightings i mean there are so many people who you know uh say that you know it might be uh you know i mean it might be a aerial craft maybe from uh, some other country or maybe russia or maybe china or yeah. i mean they might have created all these ufo technologies mm-hmm. but uh, what's your take on these uh, ufo sightings that people experience okay so uh, the best site and the most famous site of ufo was this rosenberg uh, right Uh, right and, right yeah. 1940s right uh, this rosenberg event which happened roswell yeah roswell uh, yeah so what happened at that time uh, that uh, in america i think right if you may yeah ha- central america yeah central america. so at that time i we could say that okay sightings may be real but nowadays what is happening this china russia as you referred they have developed so many technologies so now in nowadays in 21st century that may be the drones that they are using to spy and uh, we all fools are naming it as ufo but in the past yes i can refer it as a ufo encounter as a, and real aliens coming to earth and they were visiting us from time to time right no right. so <clears throat> I mean these people they talk about you know we have seen UFO sightings we have seen you know uh, UFO abducting people mm-hmm. and later on you know they say that uh, these uh, entities you know who abduct them especially the greys and you know they take them and lift them apart you know you take them high above in the sky and they you know conduct some kind of an experiment and uh, you know the patients you know the individuals the abductees uh, they say that you know we had experienced the pain and they were experimenting on us they were you know searching for our little bits of uh, you know they were scratching our body tissues or maybe collecting some samples and you know once they you know wake up they completely you know are different people i mean most of the people claim that we have been abducted by aliens So what do you think about the abduction that's happening all over the world what i believe that you uh, see as human beings we are also species and like aliens they are also they also belong to some other species right so right. if we as a human if we go to some uh, biosphere some other earth or where life is there we also would do the same thing to research right 
uh, still we are doing same thing on the plants that we take a sample of the plants we try to learn so the same way those aliens uh, try to do the same thing they want to learn us they are keeping eye on us they are still with us and they are just hidden they don't want to interfere in us so i remember one person uh, his his from spain uh, his from spain uh, his name is matios stefana and right. uh, he claims to be born on the other planet and oh. yeah he claims to be born on the other planet and there he remembers everything like uh, now we remember our childhood that okay i used to study here there like that the same way he used he remembered his childhood but in some other planet and he is claiming that he has been sent here to help humanity so there are some things which we cannot believe but i would recommend our viewers to go and check that person's uh, bio and all um, yeah sure i will take and link under the description yeah. definitely definitely yes. i'll do that so, yeah. all the people they can view his interview because uh, he mentioned everything in so detail that we cannot uh, digest that is he telling reality or not because Uh, so many lie detector tests were conducted on them and he passed all the tests he was telling the truth he was born on the other planet so no right. uh, there are some mysteries i my theory is aliens are living in other dimension a one dimension higher than us so they do not have physical body they mm. will just have consciousness and the consciousness uh, they also have technology to transfer consciousness from from one person to another so they may be hiding in some celebrity they can be hiding inside some prime minister they may be hiding in some powerful people of the world so we may not find them but they are watching us and uh, their main goal uh, that is also uh, not known to us but one thing we may know that we are useful for them in somehow right like mm-hmm. big uh, the big species like we are human beings uh, other cattle they are lower species than us so what we do we use them uh, we mm-hmm. use dairy products we use in the meat uh, meat factories and all so in the same way those people are benefiting from us right that's why they are just uh, listening to us and they are focusing on how our lives are uh, they are not making present presence like they are not making right. uh, like live presence to us it's they almost like much- many people say that they feed upon a human energy that human energy, energy possesses uh, and you know most of the people also you know referred it as reptilians and uh, reptilians go as long as the eastern cultures also you know if you see around around in china they have uh, you know the, the you know snake god even in india we have you know gods which uh, you know are half snake and have gods and many part of the western world also you know there are mexicos and you know in uh, peru south america there are so many evidences you know regarding the gods that uh, were half a uh, reptile breed uh, what do you think about these reptilians i mean uh, do they really i mean exist i mean as people say that uh, we have seen reptilians you know change uh, they you know they shape shifted into a uh, some other form so mm. talk about a little bit about reptilians i have heard theories about reptilians and uh, i also have seen some uh, videos uh, which was available from dark web and i uh insist all of the viewers that do not visit dark web uh, yeah yeah please, have, please guys don't do that yeah unless you do not have proper uh, data protection plan otherwise uh, there will be lots of consequences uh so i once visited dark web and i had seen so many videos about reptilian uh mm-hmm. famous celebrities whose eyes blink like uh, reptilian eyes do not blink as our human beings Uh, they blink in a horizontal view so there were certain clips captured by media so right. uh, the theory of reptilian uh, from where they came it's uh, really unknown to me but there is one theory they say that 
uh, it occurred when there was uh, there were this dinosaur living right so right when dinosaur was, existed yeah. i mean millions of years ago hmm. yeah so what happened the meteor shower right how they got extinct how dinosaur got extinct it was due to meteor shower now, yeah uh, some theory says that uh, in those meteor shower it was of some planet and the genetic material of that planet that struck on earth and that's how the reptilian race which was different from our human race it came into existence and they started living among us so there are mysteries and theories we cannot uh, prove it obviously because uh, we don't have physical form of them yeah but there are so many talks about the gray aliens yeah in- yeah the grays yeah, yeah. Uh, if uh, i have also posted in my instagram about the gray alien specimen uh, there was a little specimen of a baby gray alien uh, that right. it stored uh, with the spanish government and also russia is very ahead of it right so everything is saved in their archives if we look into past nowadays uh, they do not uh, personally meet and there may be some reason for that well because the first thing is they don't want to show up to normal people yeah uh, in past we did not have that much technology like we we just had newspaper right and that was also controlled by government nowadays right. there is social right. media if there will be one ufo roaming in one city it will be spread in the whole world so yeah it's going to break out in no time there is technological advancement of humans also so uh, they are not making live presence but uh, if they are living in a physical form there are many theories one of the theories of mine is that uh, they may be in the other dimension other theory is they may be uh, in in the shape uh, shape shifted form and other theory is their uh, their base may be in the sea right because oh. sea is uh, such a thing where it is uh, we have not researched more about it yeah underwater exploration needs to be conducted yeah absolutely it's absolutely unknown to human kind yeah. i mean we we self you know uh, are you know mystified by these you know information that we see you know like the loch ness monster and the, you know there were some creatures that arose from the sea and you know people have seen lot of encounters that sea holds uh, you know the key mm-hmm. to it's still an unexplored area i mean it's still an unexplored you know phenomenon and as you said you know like there are a lot of people that have experienced their uh, you know in their time mm-hmm. that there are you know few things which are kept hidden from the society and the world i mean definitely like you said doctor i mean the government they don't want you to you know come into uh, you know uh, you know directly come into contact with the information that they possess i mean because it's going to freak out everybody and uh, the secrecy is going to be out and you know they lose uh, control over the world and the economy changes completely changes yeah. so you know this kind of a control is absolutely uh, the biggest reason why uh, many of the governments they actually lie to the public they lie to the people that these things don't exist even though you know thousands and thousands of, of people have reported ufo sightings they have seen uh, reptilian you know a man completely shift into some other kind of an entity you know it was uh, something like a cloak mm-hmm. i mean he completely shifted himself uh, from a human being to a reptile and again back to you know a human form so definitely doctor uh, there are a lot of things to cover yeah. and uh, definitely in our next session we would uh, definitely definitely call the doctor back and we would try to understand more and uh, this was a very exciting experience i would give his description down below in the link i assure everybody to you know go to his site and check it out i will give all the information in the link and doctor it was a very fantastic evening and it was a very fantastic session i hope uh, you know we hope that you come back again you know soon and speak about uh, more things Yeah sure you know there are many things which uh, we have not told every person yeah there are a lot of uh, things that <laughs> is still yet to come yeah and we would definitely get the doctor back in our you know next session and we will try to learn more things 
about the hidden concepts of reality even the hidden concepts of the real world that is the existence itself will question the universe so guys um you know we would like to thank all the listeners who came by and doctor thank you so much for coming by and giving time to me and time to our listeners we deeply appreciate your uh, you know your support and definitely we would uh, conduct more and more sessions as much as we can and gain more information from you about the secret hidden world so guys uh, you please uh, make sure you go and visit to his instagram page and you know please uh, support him and he's absolutely excellent he's a researcher he's an author he absolutely holds a high level of information and knowledge so doctor thank you so much for coming by thank you so much thank you so much all right guys this was dr dharmdev singh and i'll catch you later take care you all